Hi, my name is Caitlin Stack, and I'm in the Multimedia Pathway at the Utica Center for Science and Industry. For my senior project, I chose to make a pair of high-heeled shoes. I wanted to make high heels and shoes because I've always really liked fashion and things in that kind of industry, and I always wanted to learn how they were made, and I always thought that they were so interesting, so I thought, why not teach myself how to make a pair of shoes? After I had ordered my shoe parts from the Brooklyn Shoe Supply Company that I needed, I went to Joanne Fabrics to order the materials for the types of fabrics I wanted some of the shoe parts to be made out of. So for the sole specifically, I wanted the shoes to be made out of this suede fabric. And then for the little strap that goes around your toes, I decided to use this type of pleather material because I just wanted a little bit of more texturization on the shoe and I wanted it to look a little bit different because it's not something. So once I was done researching the types of styles and designs of heels that I would potentially want to make, I went back to researching more materials that I would actually need to make the actual heels. Um, a website that I used a lot for this would be the Brooklyn Shoe Supply Company. Uh, from there I ordered heels, the sole of the shoe, so like the cushiony foamy part, and then the base of the shoe, which is like... So the first step that I did was I did a lot of research on shoes in general, which is something that we had to do in the beginning of the year anyways for the research essay. Um, I also just thought that it would be a really good idea to research something before I started learning how to make it. After I was done buying most of the materials that I needed to make my shoe look like a shoe, I went back to research again for the third time because I needed to research how to sew as I don't have a sewing machine or the money for a sewing machine and I also don't know how to sew at all and I've never sewn before. So, that so once I thought that I had a good enough amount of research done on the sewing, I went ahead and started sewing a lot of the little parts of the shoe. I didn't want to do the whole shoe yet because I thought that I needed just a little bit more practice. But the sewing of the, the little things, like the toe straps and things, those are what I started to sew with first. The toe straps were a little bit difficult because it was a leather material, so to get a needle and thread through it was a little bit harder and you had to put a lot more pressure on there. But after a while, like it got the hang of it. Um, what I did realize, though, is that it didn't look as well, like it didn't look as good as I thought it was going to look when it, I pictured it so I did end up just I had to go to the store and I had to buy really heavy duty glue like shoe glue to use and I just took the pieces of the leather and I ended up gluing them together with that just because the sewing didn't look as neatly as I could and there was like no other way that I could sew it together without it looking the way that it did on the one shoe. So once I started sewing up the little parts, I did actually take a break on the sh shoes itself because I had to take, I took some time for me to like practice the sewing. I wanted the shoes to look as good as they could and it's really difficult to sew such a thin fabric like that suede material onto the sole of the shoe because the sole of the shoe is quite hard once you get to the bottom. So to have to try and pull a needle on a thread through all those layers does get really difficult. So it did take a lot of time practicing sewing and making sure that I could get the thread in there and look really neat and nice. So, I just... so the first major thing that I sewed together was the sole and the fabric that was going to cover the sole. Um, it was a lot more difficult than I expected but we did get through it. Um, and then once I like sewed the fabric onto the sole I went to the heel. The heel was a lot more difficult than any other part of the shoe to, to sew and to even with fabric glue that I had to put on. After I had like the basis of everything put together and made, I had to glue the whole shoe together. So what I had to do was glue the heel on and that part took quite a while because you couldn't sew the heel on, you had to glue it. Once I had the heels glued onto the sole of the shoe, the only thing left was the rubber part, which is like that gripper part, the tan part that you that the, touches the ground when you walk. That part was by far the most difficult part that I had to deal with. It took me like four days to event to get it to glue to the sole of the shoe. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges for me would have been sewing. I've never sewn a day in my life before this project. So it was really difficult to learn how to sew. 
Another big difficulty for me was probably glue. I did buy like a couple different types of glue, super glues, like Gorilla Glue, and then I also did buy um, a shoe glue, which was called, I think, Shoe Goo is what I think it was called, and like other super glues, like Gorilla Glue fabric. Um, that was probably one of the most difficult parts just because I thought it would be easier just to have to glue it on and press it and make sure that it stayed, but it was so much more difficult because no matter what glue I tried, none of the glue stayed and it was so hard to get, like I would, I would let it go sit overnight and dry and then I'd wake up and it would just be falling apart again. It took a long time for me to realize that a plain old hot glue gun would have worked. 